Lewis dot structure for ionic compounds. In this video, we're going to use aluminum oxide to illustrate how Lewis dot structure for ionic compounds is written. So, aluminum is a group 3 element. It has three valence electrons, electrons that participate in bonding. Oxygen is a group 6 element. It has six valence electrons. This is the orbital notation for aluminum. Oxygen, right, so this orbital notation means that aluminum, the orbital notation for aluminum is neon, that of neon, plus this present in the outer energy level, energy level 3. So losing it, it will become like neon. Now, oxygen, if oxygen gains two electrons, so if these two electrons will be compared, it will become like the noble gas following it. And on the periodic table, what is the next noble gas after oxygen? That is neon. So both will become like neon if that happens. So this is the electronegativity value for each aluminum 1.5, oxygen 3.5. Alright, so the electronegativity difference is big and it is an ionic compound, not a molecule. So let's see, given only the information that aluminum and oxygen will bond together, how are we going to verify that it is it has that chemical formula? So given aluminum and oxygen only. So what determine what is going to be the chemical formula? for this ionic compound. Suppose you don't know that it is Al sub 2, Al subscript 2, oxygen subscript 3. First, knowing that oxygen is more electronegative, as much as possible, it will take oxygen to it. And aluminum, less electronegative, it is willing to give up its electron to the more electronegative element, which is oxygen in this bonding, in this compound. So, put the oxygen and put the electrons of aluminum towards oxygen. So place it to oxygen like this. Slide, slide. So oxygen, the first oxygen is satisfied with eight electrons, but there's still one extra electron with this aluminum. So what we do is we add more oxygen and then give that oxygen, uh, give that, I mean, give that electron to this new oxygen here. Now the problem is there is this one unpaired electron. So with that, get an extra aluminum. And then, you know, aluminum here has three electrons. Give one of its electron to this oxygen. Now the two oxygen here has eight valence electrons. It satisfied the octet rule. But still, you know, aluminum here has excess electrons. So what we do, still add oxygen and then give the, the remaining electrons to this new oxygen there you go so this three oxygen has eight electrons this two aluminum lost all of its three electrons so both aluminum and oxygen has the same electronic configuration as the noble gas Okay, so aluminum has the electronic configuration of the noble gas before it, neon. Oxygen now has the electronic configuration of the next noble gas following it, also neon. So losing three electrons makes this aluminum have a positive charge of three. So both of this aluminum has a positive charge of three. The, all of this three oxygen atoms from gaining two electrons now has positive uh, has a negative charge of two so with that we have two aluminum ions three oxygen ions so you see instead of writing it that way just place a coefficient just place a coefficient to represent the number of aluminum ions and oxygen ions and then combine them together that is the Lewis dot structure for this ionic compound, aluminum oxide, as simple as that.